Okay, so the Vacheron Constantin branded black velvet glove is the clue. Today we're exploring the traditional complete calendar open face. Now I'm going to start this review with a story. It was 2019, it was the last SIHH I attended and there was one particular release that blew me away. And it was because it was so contemporary, it was so modern and it was so innovative and yet still it was from Vacheron Constantin, a brand that has a history that stretches to centuries and centuries. And that was the traditional open worked twin beat perpetual calendar, which incorporated innovative materials like sapphire discs to show the inner workings of this watch. Now the trick this watch had up its sleeve was the ability to be switched to two speeds. If you are leaving your watch off the wrist as a perpetual calendar, you want that watch to remain wound. You want those the, the precious data that that watch is working off to remain in play. Now Vacheron Constantin came up with a, an ingenious solution where there's one mainspring and yet there's two gear trains and two oscillators at different frequencies, meaning that if you're going to leave the watch, you can switch it to a lower hertz rate and it could have up to 65 days off the wrist while still maintaining the all important day of the week and time of day. Now, the reason I bring that up and the reason I mention that starting point is that the aesthetics of the watch were what gripped people as much as that really cool trick because it incorporated things like an open worked face, it incorporated sapphire discs allowing you to see through to the inner workings of the movement and it really had, it carried with it a very different atmosphere for a complicated Vacheron piece. That has been continued in this new traditional open face complete calendar as it's only the second ever traditional model to have this open face or open worked dial. All right, enough of the chilled preamble. Let's put on the glove and actually handle this piece because I'm excited. Uh, that's, that's served to make me just as excited as you are to look closer at this beautiful watch. Now, what excited me about the Twin Bed Perpetual Calendar traditional is also exciting me about this, which is this collision or this unusual combination of a very classic complication, in this case, a complete calendar with a very contemporary execution. Now, what is a complete calendar? Let's start there. It's a very useful complication as it tells you not only the time, but the day, the date, and the phase of the moon. And in this case, certainly, you can see that the way this is uh, expressed while being very contemporary in its use of materials and use of transparency, it is also totally classic in the way that it configures this information. Like many classic Vacheron Constantin complete calendars, we have the day and the date in rectangular apertures under the logo. And the moon phase in this case is at six with a translucent bottom half and then a photorealistic moon as the depiction of the moon there. So again, we have super contemporary execution of a very classic complication, and it's an exciting synergy. To me, it's that snap of classic meets very much of the moment. Staying dial side, we have a round stepped case. We have a fluted case back, and we have gold faceted Dauphine hands, which are absolutely razor sharp, as you'd expect from Vacheron. And then we have this railway minute track printed on the flange that also serves to anchor the indexes. So again, a very clever and compelling design for the eye as it tries to make sense of the structure of the dial. And the last feature on the dial to discuss is the blackened gold pointer date hand with crescent tip that moves around the outer periphery of the dial to each of the dates indicated. Looking through to the bridges and main plate, you can see that they are not the normal silver color. They are NAC coated, which not only darkens the uh, main plate and bridge for aesthetic reasons, it also prevents those components from oxidizing. And the discs that indicate the day and the date are in sapphire crystal. So onto the all important fit and feel of the watch. Now I'm obviously not going to attach this to my wrist, but even resting it on my wrist, this watch is in 18 karat white gold and it is 41 millimeters. Now the lug to lug is 48.6 millimeters and that's on account of these 
slightly longer lugs than you might expect. The height of the watch is just 10.7 millimeters and the weight is 92 grams. So enough to feel that it's there and enough to feel the weight of that gold, but certainly not a heavy prospect for the wrist. Now there is some concession to the rigors of daily wear with a 30 meter uh, water resistance. Now the movement that powers this watch is the caliber 2460 which has 308 components and 27 joules. It is an in-house automatic movement from Vacheron Constantin with 40 hours of power reserve, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Now I suppose we turn to the, the main event, the, the main show with most Vacheron pieces. However, that's not the case entirely here. I, I have to say that while the case back is attractive, because of the open work nature of the dial, the front dial, you're still getting quite a bit of the action through the dial. However, we do flip over and see that we have a 22 karat gold rotor with a mix of brushed and polished finishes. The Maltese cross logo, which is skeletonized on the rotor, is highly polished with other elements brushed. Now the finishing is of course utterly immaculate, which you would expect from a Geneva seal watch. We have Geneva stripes on chamfered bridges and circular graining on the base plate. It is really, as, as you would expect, an absolute feast for the eyes, looking for all of these lovely hand finished touches. So there you have it, as you would expect, a very long laundry list of remarkable details that come to life. And I can also see, let me, let me mention this, that the logo is printed on the sapphire crystal and actually reflects through. You can see the shadow on to the only part of the dial that is not skeletonized, which is a small section underneath 12. Now I'd like to finish on a note. Who's this watch for? It's really for progressives. It's for collectors and for watch lovers who are seeking a bridge to the future, who are seeking a classic execution with modern touches. And that's exactly what this and the twin beat presented to me back in 2019, when I saw a new face for Vacheron and that face was transparent. So it's wonderful to see the traditional continue this uh, new and very contemporary style of dial and style of material innovation. And like it did for me in 2019, it injects classic watchmaking with such a new and exciting energy. So thank you Vacheron for sending this one through. The traditional complete calendar open face is priced at 47,900 Swiss francs and 68,000 Australian dollars. Thanks very much for watching. What do you think of these classic marks when they start to really stretch their legs with creative innovations? Does it excite you? Do you prefer the originals? Um, tell us below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks very much.